Hey, how you doing? Uh, Silver Buck here. It's our favorite time of the year. Let's talk about taxes a little bit. So, let me get this off right away. I am not a tax expert. I'm not a financial expert or anything in that nature. I'm just telling you what worked for me last year. Um, some tips and tricks that I learned. And I tried it for the first time and it worked out really well for me and my family. So what I did is I filed, you know, I'm married. Obviously, uh, if you watch my videos, you probably know that. But I'm married, but I filed single. I did. I had my tax withholding single at a higher tax withholding with zero dependents. Why did I do zero dependents and single? Because they hold withhold more taxes every week out of my check that way. Now, on top of that, I also did an additional withholding of $25 a week every week for $100 a month for $1,200 a year. Why would you do that, Silverbuck? Why would you want them to hold the most taxes and do additional withholdings? I'll tell you why. I knew I was going to make a considerable amount more than I did the year before. And I did not want to have to pay in at the end of the year on my taxes. So I wanted to make sure that I got a kickback, obviously, of my own money. I know they're not paying me. It's because I paid in too much. But I'd rather have too much than too little, i.e. me stacking. I had a couple friends, you know, come up to me, colleagues, co-workers, and say, hey, man, last year I had to pay in because I made, you know, X amount and they didn't take enough taxes. Well, it's not that they didn't take enough taxes. You just didn't set up your tax information properly. That's why, you know, everything ended up where you owed at the end of the year. Some of y'all want to gamble and try to get the most out of each check. So at the end of the year, you kind of balance out even. I prefer them to take too much down here. And at the end of the year, they have to pay back this to this so we're even again. I don't want to be the other way around where I'm paying all this and to get even with them. So with that being said, I ended up owing city taxes. Because when I switched jobs, I didn't catch that the city was no longer coming out from my job before to this one. Which is fine because I was overpaying for eight months out of the year before I switched out in the last five months of the year for a new job. So, it's no big deal. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's a big deal, but it's no big deal because I was prepping to have to pay in. That's why I was doing so much extra. Now, I'm not bragging. I'm not going to tell you what I made last year. I'm not going to tell you how much I got back. But it was it was nice because I did it like this. And I'm not trying to tell you, hey, look at me, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gloating. I want to help people who stack. So if you got a goal of making $5,000 by the end of the year of set-aside income or set-aside tips or set-aside wages or however you want to look at it, but you save five grand for whatever Let's say you filed your taxes as soon as you got your W-2s. You got your W-2s February 1st, and you electronically filed 7 to 20 days later. You got it back. So by February you know, 21st, you say, oh, I got my taxes back. And let's say you got two grand. No, let's say $2,500. you are 50% of your way there to five grand by before March. So you're not even a quarter away at the end of the year, and you're, you've met your goal halfway already. So you take what you learn from doing taxes this year, apply that to next year, have them withhold a little bit more instead of 25 a week, have them withhold 50. You know you're going to get more back. Set your bar a little higher. Instead of five grand, go to 10 grand. And you know by that first quarter of the year, you're going to have two to $5,000 from the IRS kicking your money back to you that you overpaid. Because trust me, they're not giving you money. That's your money. You overpaid it. But for a reason, now you're this much closer to your goal. So little tips, little tricks. I mean, if you have some tips and tricks, please leave them in the comments. If you can do something different that I might have missed or haven't learned or no one's told me about yet, please leave that in the comment. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit that little bell icon so you can get notifications when I do videos. Um, I haven't done a lot of videos. Things have been kind of hectic around here lately, but... 
I'll be sure to do another video tonight. Um, and yeah, please just leave a comment. And let me know what you think. If, like I said, if you have any tips or tricks on what else I can do to help improve my tax return, let me know. Uh, one last thing, caveat before I get out of here. This isn't to make money on, it's not a long-term savings account. You don't get interest off of it. This is just, you paid in $1,000 too much, you're going to get $1,000 back. But the way I look at it, it's a piggy bank you can't break into. It's a savings account you can't go to the bank and withdraw. I already stack. It's not like, you know, I nickel and dime every penny of every check and it's allocated to groceries and this bill and that bill. I'm trying to come up with different ways to stack and I just figured out taxes is another way I can stack and at the end of the year get a decent chunk of change back to help me reach my goal of saving X amount of dollars for that year. And as you know this year I'm trying to save $100 or 100 bills of every bill uh every denomination. So 101s, 102s, 105s, 110s, 120s, 150s, 100 100s. And as you saw in previous videos, I got the one, twos, fives. I'm working on the tens. Not a bad. It's February. One, twos, fives. I'm working on the tens. It's February. So, see what I'm saying? You just do things a certain way. Set yourself up for success. I'm not trying to get rich today. I'm trying to set up generational wealth for future kids, grandkids, and on. So. Set your family up for success. Set yourself up for success first and teach your children and it'll spread. So thank you. Let me know. Like I said, leave, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have better ideas, if you have tips and tricks that I don't know or haven't heard of yet, go ahead and leave it down there in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Silver Buck out.